Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And we also here at Pristine offer weekly free webinars, so I encourage you to attend, register for, and join any and all that interest you. You can ask questions. These are live webinars, so you can interact with the moderator and have your questions answered. So as you can see, we've got uh, for Monday, March 28th, discussion of trading strategies with Greg Capra. And then on Thursday, March 31st, how you can squeeze more money from smaller profits. And then we also have other webinars on our schedule, which you can check out at www.pristine.com. Taking a look at where things are at here this week, we can see in the upper left euro us dollar on the daily chart and we're already uh, off to a good start this week here on uh, on this monday morning with the euro us dollar pushing on up triggering one of the patterns that we teach in our forex trading course so uh, off to a good start as i said and really looks like it should and will continue to move back on up towards this prior high and then from there, we'll see what the bulls are made of. We'll see if it can't uh, continue to move on through it. So keep an eye on Euro US dollar in the coming days this week for follow through higher. And the same thing goes for Aussie US dollar over here in the middle chart uh, on top. You can see that it too pulled back into some support and is now getting a bit of lift here this morning so uh, again we'll see if this can't continue to follow through it's got a little bit more congestion a little more resistance overhead that it'll have to work through but it is worth keeping on the radar <clears throat> moving on over to new zealand dollar us dollar this one also has pulled back into uh, a loose area of support and it has stabilized, getting some, again, lift here today, where basically, I mean, most everything this morning is is uh, strong against the dollar. In other words, the dollar is weak. And you can see that here as well in New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, where we're getting this push up. So um, we'll, again, continue to focus on the intraday strength, because this one really isn't that strong in terms of the trend it's been grinding its way higher so nothing too compelling here but worth keeping on the radar just for some intraday opportunity us dollar yen in the bottom right you can see this one has rallied up into resistance so uh this is one i'd actually be looking to short here on an intraday trade and and really look to hold some of it for what could be a move back towards these lows and possibly lower so I, i'd be looking to get short somewhere up in here for as i said a, a move back down to these lows look to then take some profit off maybe leave a little bit of a position on to see if it doesn't move through these lows and then u.s dollar canadian dollar bottom middle chart this one's rallied up into resistance as well and is rolling over so this is another one that you could look to be getting short for a move back down towards these prior lows uh, and then again we'll see where it goes from here i i have noted in previous videos that u.s dollar canadian dollar on the larger time frames is into some support but it really has struggled to find some solid ground. So again, this this is shortable up here for a move at least down to this prior low. And then we'll see if it doesn't try and hold, maybe make a double bottom and move higher or fail and continue to bleed lower. Um, we don't know. Uh, well, that's why we'll watch and see what's happening if and when price gets down there. But in the meantime, we are getting this weakness here, which suggests that price can move lower. And then finally, in the bottom left we've got pound us dollar and this one is moving up nicely here this morning i actually had this uh long earlier and exited uh the the position here on this move up but in any case you know it was a short move down to support bounced off of that area now it's about a 50 percent retracement back up naturally there's going to be an increase in supply there as some of those fib traders might look to pile in but this one's been more range bound overall, so uh, not looking for, for a huge move back up, although it, it could if the intraday trend holds. 
make its way back up into this this upper area and if that happens you know we'll find we'll find the opportunity on the intraday charts but not really looking to commit to a position here for for a longer term type of play so that's where we stand here this morning so it looks like this week could be a pretty nice week overall as most things are set up for some movement here rather than just range bound chop and overlap so definitely keep your eyes focused on the trend look to trade those intraday opportunities as well as those opportunities that exist on the daily charts uh, but as always you know trade your plan wait for your trade and uh, stay patient disciplined and confident well, until the next video Take care, and if you have any questions, make sure to comment in the comment section below. Also, you can like and subscribe to this channel to receive future videos, and hopefully we'll see you in an upcoming free webinar. Take care.